Today we're going to talk about the CUE 100, a fantastic new variable frequency drive that is designed for ease of use and brings very unique features to the market. We're going to go over some of the basic installation steps, including the basic wiring, as well as the basic setup through the app and through the keypad. By the end of this, you should be able to do the basic installation on your own and be able to experience the, the full benefits and features of the CUE 100. And finally, we will start up the CUE after the setup is done and show you how it works, and we will see it in action. To make it easier for your installation, we include stickers that are color-coded for the different types of motors that you might want to install, as well as a sticker for the wiring on all the terminals so that you know exactly where to connect your pressure transducer or anything else that you might want to connect. While looking at the color-coded sticker that we have inside the, of the casing, this motor is a single-phase uh, three-wire motor, so you will have a black, a yellow, and a red wire. The black will go into terminal U, yellow will go into terminal V, and then red will go into terminal W. And then, of course, the ground into the earth or PE terminal. Now that we have installed the motor wires into their correct terminals, we will move on now to installing the pressure transducer wires, which will go up in these terminals up here. So for your transducer wires, you will have three wires. You will have your signal power supply, and you will have your earth or ground wire. Your signal will be connected to the first terminal, which is analog input one. And your supply wire will be connected to the terminal labeled 15 volts, which will be your seventh. And then your ground will be connected to your earth terminal. And to make it easier also, you should be able to remove the terminals, unplug them, and insert your wires this way so that you have a little bit more space. Now that we have the sensor connected, we will move on to the incoming power wires. Because this is a single phase incoming supply, we will have three wires. We will have your neutral, you will have your line power wire, and then we will have your ground wire. White cable will go into terminal L1. Then you have your black wire, which is your line, will go into L2, also labeled L. And then finally, make sure you take your ground wire, the green one, and connect it to the earth terminal on the drive. Now we have completely installed all the wiring to get started on the setup to complete the commissioning of the CUE 100. Now that we have finished with the wiring of the motor, the incoming power, and the pressure transducer, we're now ready to put the lid back on. And make sure you tie in these four screws in a cross pattern to make sure that the seal is properly seated. The moment you turn on and power up the CUE 100, it will begin prompting you to start the setup. You may start the setup through the keypad or through the app. In this case, we will go through the keypad settings and get it running. You will see that the screen starts flashing PSI, which is prompting you to tell it which units you need for your pressure measurements. You can use the keypad with the plus and minus buttons to select the different options that are available. In this case, we have bar or PSI. So we will leave it at PSI and select OK. The next thing it wants to know is what type of motor are you running? CUE 100 can run many different types of motors. You can navigate through the different options by using the plus or minus buttons on the keypad. This is a single phase three wire motor. And because it is a half horsepower, it will be the capacitor start induction run. So we will select this one. The next thing that I want to know is what is the frequency that your motor is rated for? This motor is a 60 hertz, so we will select 60 and we leave it that way. The next thing is the service factor amp rating. This, is, this will be out of the nameplate of your motor. Uh, you want to be specifically getting it out of your motor so, you don't, so that you don't have any problems. This motor will pass a rating of 6 amps. So we will use the plus or minus keys to get to the six amp rating. And you can leave it, hold it in. Uh, after a few seconds, it will accelerate to get to the value faster. Now we have six amps, and we will press OK. Then the drive wants to know if you have incoming power from the grid, which is AC, or if you're running uh, some solar panels to run your pump on DC. We're working with AC, and we will select AC. The next thing, it wants to know what, what will be the pressure set point for your system. This is really the pressure that the drive will try to maintain at all times. 60 PSI will be the default. You can change it using the plus or minus keys, or you can leave it the way it is. In this case, we will accept and press the power button. Now it is asking us if the, the setup is finished. We'll press OK, and it will immediately default to pump out mode. Pump out mode is also called hands mode, 
We will accept and press yes, and it will default to 45 hertz. Right now it's flashing, it's prompting us to get started, and you can adjust the, the frequency if you'd like, but let's get started and accept yes. Now you will see that the pump will be running at 45 hertz and maintain that as long as you need it to. You can increase the setting or you can decrease it if you like. But once you're finished with it, just hit the power button and you will be ready to go. The CUE 100 was primarily designed to be commissioned and started up with an app that is exclusive to this VFD. To use the app, you point at the QR code on the side of the drive with your camera, and it takes you directly to the page to download the app. You can download an app for your iOS device or an Android device. In this case, we will go with the app uh, with the iOS device. As we open it, it will ask you to register. This will be just an email and a password. That is a one-time thing only. Once you set up your email and password, you can type it in, and it'll show you a camera to prompt you to go into uh, scan the QR code again. Now we'll take you to the Grunfuss interface. To begin the setup, click on the program button on the top right of the home screen. It will then prompt you to find the device. You should be able to find the device by hitting search as long as the devices and your phone are within Bluetooth range of each other. Once it pops up, just click on it, and it will prompt you to give it two passwords. The first password and the second password are meant to protect the settings of the motor. The second password protects the more critical settings to avoid anybody uh, changing anything, any critical settings on the uh, drive and the motor. At first, you will see that the defaults are already shown to you, so you can change them later. The first one is 001, and the second will be 002. Press Connect, and now that your, your phone will be connected to the device within a few seconds. This is where you begin the initial setup. First, you accept Start, and you will see the different parameters, just like the ones we did on the keypad. Now, you just go down the line to each one. Once you're done with that, all you do is hit write, and you will send the program to the device. It will prompt you to go into jog mode or pump out mode. You can say yes or you can say no. In this case, we will say no, and we will skip to the operation. Now your initial setup is complete. Press OK to accept, and it will take you immediately to the monitor page. This is where you will control the pump to start and stop and where you will see the different types of alarms if there are any. As you can see, the UniConnect app makes the operation and setup for the drive very easy to use. It's very easy to navigate and has a lot of valuable information. And of course, if you don't want to use the app, you can always do the basic installation manually through the keypad that is on the device itself. Once the CUE 100 is fully set up and it's ready to go, it will do its best to maintain a pressure set point that you gave it during the startup. In this case, it was 60, 60 PSI. What we can do is simulate a faucet opening in your house by opening up this valve. When we do that, the pressure will start dropping from the tank. And when there's a five PSI differential from the set point, in this case, it will be 55, 54 PSI. Once the pressure drops to that point, it will kick back on and it will pressurize the system again to the given set point. Here's some water op opening up a faucet, maybe your irrigation system or your bathtub. As the pressure transducer reads a drop in pressure, it hits about 55 PSI and it will kick back on. And very quickly, you will see that it reaches the 60 PSI set point that it's, we're asking it to maintain. And it can maintain that even if there's multiple faucets opening up. So here we open up another one and we see that despite the increase in water demand, the drive is still able to maintain the 60 PSI set point with no problem. Now we're gonna simulate, we're gonna close the valves, and we're gonna stop the water demand, and we're gonna see what the drive does. As the faucets close and the water stops flowing, the drive will then make sure to measure uh, the pressure and see if there is a change which will indicate whether more water is being used or not. Once it determines that no more water is being used, it will slow down the motor and it will stop and hold that pressure until it's needed again. 
As you can see, the CUE 100 is a very high quality product that is very easy to use, easy to install, and will give you an edge as an installer against your competition. You will have a product that is, has a, the quality that Grunfuss is known for, and you will provide the customer with the comfort of constant pressure at their home and the peace of mind of having additional protection for their equipment. Please feel free to leave a comment or reach out to your distributor and ask him any questions you might have. Grunfuss has a great support team that can help answer any questions that you or your uh, distributor might have.